there's one of the inverters down there to the left, if you notice. Those white, those white, there's there's ten of them out here. I think there's five on each side. You said how many panels are there? There's about eighty thousand. Eighty thousand panels. Yeah, each one of these rows, if you connected the rows on the right and left, it'd be about a third of a mile long. If you took all the rows and put them end to end, it'd be about 21 and a half miles long. This is 20 megawatts. The facility being built at the Marine Base in Albany is going to be about three times this size. It's going to be very large. How many acres are these? This is 150. It's 100, 122 acres of panel. That's your little control office right there. It's got all the computers and all your various controls in here that monitor everything out here on this site. It's air conditioned, but there's nobody there. So you, anything go wrong? It's all controlled and managed out of San Francisco, California. So they would send somebody from Atlanta. They would anyway? dispatch somebody from Albany or or, uh, or Columbus down here. Yeah, they've got they got standing contracts with various companies to uh, to do work out here, maintenance work. Every every two megawatts of power is one of these inverters that light down here. All of them they converts the direct current to alternating current. Also, that has to step up the voltage. Also. And also, well, we got a substation over here that steps up that voltage. There's a lot of mowing to do out here, isn't it? A lot. Yeah, it takes us about four days to mow this with a tractor, you know, tractor mower. Wow. And how long it takes you to uh, control the, uh, the weed? You have to well, spray it, it, it the lasts about 60 days. 60 days. <coughs> yeah, the herbicide hasn't started working here yet good. But it will. We just got some rain yesterday. It'll start showing up later this week. It'll start looking like it's supposed to. Power goes directly back to the grid. Right on the grid. And Georgia Power puts it on the on the grid and just sells it to everybody. And Georgia Power has no investment in this or did they they, do none. No. They, it's all private investment. Right. Because uh, the Public Service Commission wanted the, the private investment. But the producer. Producer, Georgia Power is a roadblock to solar power. Well, Georgia Power didn't want to do it. Of course. They did not want to do it and the Public Service Commission forced them right. to get involved in it if they wanted the Public Service Commission's. Uh, so the law has changed because uh, that's a few right. Years ago, a few years ago, they don't, they could not do it. They now. could, but now they can. That's right. So basically, you can have more solar farm like this if you want. There's going to be, there's going to be like 3,000 uh, megawatts of power developed in Georgia. This, is, wow. this represents 20. So just do the math. There's going to be quite a few. Just you can just turn around. This yeah. the grass is pretty hard on the left over here, driver. You can just kind of pull right. turn and just do a U-turn. Yeah, this, all this ground out here is pretty hard. Yeah, just do a U. There you go. Just turn around. All this ground out here has been just been driven on so much. It's pretty hard. If you look at the back of it, the, the panels are a little bit translucent. You can almost see through them. You can see the light <coughs> coming through the panels from the back. <coughs> there, it, you remember I told you it looks like a picture frame? Those panels are actually are very light. It's just got an aluminum frame around it and two, two layers of thin impact resistant glass with a layer of silicon in the middle. These are all angled at 31 degrees south. 